What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com back with another SketchUp quick tutorial for you. So in this video, we're just gonna go in and we're gonna create um, this is kind of a torus type shape that's made with repeating circles. It's just something I was kind of playing around with. I thought I'd show you how to do it. So let's go ahead and just jump into this thing. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come in here and we're gonna draw a circle around our origin. So just tap that C key and then uh, move your mouse over the origin point and just draw a circle. It doesn't re really matter how wide it is or anything like that. Um, it just needs to be a circle. So, and then we're gonna come in here and what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw another circle on the outside of that circle. And probably before I do that, what I'm gonna do just to make this a little easier is I'm gonna select this circle, then I'm gonna right click on it and I'm gonna click find center. And that's gonna go ahead and just put a point right here in the middle that we may end up using. Um, so all we're gonna do now is we're just gonna draw another circle over here and you can go ahead and do it to kind of the midpoint of the circle. So you're gonna start centered right here, then you're just gonna move this over to this point. And so now what we can do is you've got this kind of overlapping circle shape and you can actually go in and delete out everything except this piece. So, and then what we're gonna do is we'll just uh, double, cl double click on this to select the whole thing, right click and just make it a component. You, know, you can just call it component one, make sure this replace selection with component is checked. But then what you're gonna do is you're gonna come over here with the, the rotate tool and you're gonna rotate this so it stands up a little bit. So activate the rotate tool by tapping the Q key. Then you can lock this to the green axis by tapping the left arrow key. So that way you can come in here and you can rotate this. Probably we'll go ahead and rotate it about 30 degrees. We'll kind of see what that comes up with. And so if you remember, since this is a component, now when we repeat it, anytime we change it, um, every copy of it that we make is gonna change as well. So, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this and we're gonna use the rotate tool again, and we're gonna rotate it in copy mode at about 30 degrees. So we're gonna make a bunch of copies doing this. So click on this once. And it's important to note that this is a good time to save your model before you do this. Um, because sometimes with copy mode, SketchUp just gets a little bit funky, and um, especially with the rotate tool. And uh, this is probably where I get more crashes than anywhere else. So always save your model before you use the rotate tool in copy mode. All right, so once you've saved a copy of your model, just come in here and just create a copy um, at 30 degrees along this side here. So um, just rotate this to 30 degrees and tap that control key to turn on copy mode. And then you can either type in 30 and hit the enter key, or you can just rotate this until it shows 30 in the uh, box in the lower right hand corner. So then once you've done that, don't click on anything else. You're just gonna type in times 12 and hit the enter key. And what that does is that creates 12 copies of this shape. So now you've got 12 of these copies at 30 degrees that have also been rotated to stand up 30 degrees. So, and now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna select this, we're gonna right click on it, and we're gonna make it a component. So we're gonna call this half torus. So that's half of our shapes. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the move tool to create a copy of that off to the side. So just tap the M key, and then you can select this or select this, tap the M key, and then you can move this anywhere and just tap the control key to turn on copy mode. Then all you're gonna do is you're just gonna flip this. So to flip it, all you're gonna do is you're gonna use the scale tool and you're just gonna click on one of these points and hold the control key and just move it until you've scaled it to negative one. Um, you could probably use the flip along option to do that as well. Um, and then we're just gonna move this piece back and that can get a little bit tricky. So if you move your mouse over one of these circles or one of these shapes, it should give you an inference point right in the middle that you can use to move this back to the origin. Um, so you can use that to kind of inference back in there. Well, now you can see what you've got is you've got these two intersecting shapes just like this. And then you can come in here and you can add a material. So um, just come in here and select a color. In this case, I'm gonna select red for one of them. And then I'm gonna select white for the other one just to give us that kind of contrasting color. So you can see how now when I come in here, you've got your shapes kind of intersecting with each other, almost like a piece of origami. So this is just a real quick, easy way to use 
circles and the rotation tool to create kind of a cool shape. So that's where I'm going to end today's show. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Um, did you like this? Was it too basic for you? Can you think of some cool applications for this? I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. Uh, if you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please remember to check out my support me page at the sketchupessentials.com slash support. Um, I've also got the link to that down below. That's just got some uh, different ways that you can support the show. There's some cool extensions you can check out or links to my Patreon page. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it. I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.